your booty. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Oh, I'm sorry. Got a little carried away there. I apologize. Welcome back into another beer review with yours truly, Not Bag Tooth Paul Beto, coming to you as always from my Midland studio down in South Carolina. We're actually going to go on a little bit of a trek up to my home state of Connecticut for this next beer installment in my little adventure here on YouTube. And this one is actually has holds a little bit of a fond place in my heart. Not this particular beer because I've never had it before, but the brewery itself, not too far down the road from my former office in Stanford. And the artist formerly known as at beer for Booper on Instagram, he and I met at that job. We tend, tended to uh, frequent this brewery quite a bit, more than a few times. Uh, Lock City Brewing Company in Stanford. This is called Shake Your Booty. Now you know why I was doing my little dance. <laughs> um, this is a 7.1% IPA. Uh, is referred to as a Lock City OG. Shake Your Booty is an IPA carefully crafted using milk sugar. So it's a milkshake IPA. The indulging mouthfeel lends itself to fruity and tropical flavors of grapefruit, bright orange, mango, gooseberry, stone fruit, and bubblegum with a surprising malt balance. So there's a lot going on there, and I'm interested to see. The head owner and head brewer Mike, he really knows what he's doing, so definitely interested to find out if uh, the balance comes through from what they're selling on the back of the can. So... And uh, as you can see, the can's pretty cool. It's got this like trippy disco design. It's got a boom box right in the center of it. I imagine you have to be past a certain age to know what a boom box is nowadays, but eh, you know. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, get it going and crack her open, shall we? Shake your booty, well, well, shake that indeed. As you can see, it's a nice, rich, bright, hazy orange color. As all true New England styles should be. Certainly can't see through that. Nice, very rich indeed. So why don't we uh, get the nose and see what's in it. Hmm, very, uh, a little bit of dank. Dankness, I would say. It's dry though. It's not like a bright, juicy dankness. It's a very dry type of dank. Definitely get a little bit of a subtle fruit citrus aroma hidden in there. But pretty, I mean, the aroma overall is pretty mild. So might be a nice, easy sipper. I mean, 7% is, it's up there, but it's not, it's not overpowering by any stretch of the imagination, so. I've got an idea in my head of what it's going to be like, so what do you say we see if that idea stacks up? <laughs> Something all right. Now I got some thoughts about this one. See, it settles in on your lips with a kind of soft sweetness, if you will. Your palate kind of gets a little bit more of that juiciness, starts to come alive a little bit. Um, it gets a little bit of that, a little, little tiny bit of that hot bitterness. So it's, it's definitely reminding you that it's 7% and you probably should not chug it. Although the chug world order, there's no beer that they met that they can't chug and they don't order they don't want to. <laughs> but it's Yeah, it's definitely got it's definitely got that hot bitterness. It does have a bit more of a softer, milder, softer, more mild mouthfeel initial palette. And it kind of settles in, melds out a little bit. Doesn't hang around too bad, uh, so it doesn't have that, that crazy of an aftertaste. Um, but it's 
It's a, it's the type of IPA. It's a, it's that classic type of IPA that you're gonna drink. You're gonna sit down and probably gonna sip on it because it's a little strong, not crazy strong. But it's definitely a little strong. Um, and it's, it's definitely up there with your typical kind of titans that you know you walk in the brewery and everyone's got their hazy and England on style that sort of thing. You know, maybe even obviously this non double IPA, but you know, a lot of double IPAs have this same type of appearance, the same type of mouthfeel flavor, that sort of thing. So it stood, it stacks up there with the best of them. Lock City, one day, one day maybe I'll be back up in Connecticut and Stanford to visit you and go to your tap room again and see what latest offerings Mike's put on the menu. In any event, I'll stop babbling. If you want more from me, Go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop coming straight to you on your phone, mobile device, tablet, computer, whatever the case may be, however you watch these silly little videos that I do when the greater craft beer influencer community does at large does. If you want to recommend a beer to me, or even maybe even send me a beer, because I do like beer mail, go ahead and email me at nutmeg2palmetto gmail.com. And if this isn't enough of me for you, go ahead, follow me on my social media channels at Nutmeg2Palmetto on TikTok and Instagram. Social media is not your thing. Craft beer is. You want to listen to some adventures, learn a little bit about all these breweries that keep popping up all over the country. Go ahead, subscribe, download, and like the Upstate Beer Boys podcast. Follow along with Stephen Wayne and myself on all our adventures across South Carolina. Branching out a little bit more. Our base breweries are in the upstate, of course, but starting to branch out a little bit more, go to some different places. We are available on all your major listening platforms. And uh, tune in and enjoy our adventures. They're have a lot of fun, and you probably might enjoy some of these stories that you hear about from the different breweries around this part of the country. With that, being said, without further ado, I'll stop wasting all of your time. Lock City. You're probably one of the ones that I miss. Yep, I do. I do miss you. Cheers to you and cheers to everybody watching. Thanks for subscribing and liking and commenting and all those wonderful things that you folks do.